our eyes help us to see the world around us. But for kids like Sophie, and nearly half of all Australians, their eyes show them a slightly different version of the world. And I'm also one of those people who wears glasses or contacts. The lenses in my glasses correct my vision so I can see the world clearly again. But how come my eyes can't do that by themselves? Well, in a normal healthy eye, light comes through the cornea at the front. Then it's focused by the lens onto the back of your eye. There you'll find a layer of special nerve cells that detect light and colour, called the retina. And that helps to tell your brain what you're seeing. But some people's eyes are shaped a little differently, which can distort or blur what they see. You see any letters up there? Being long-sighted or short-sighted are two of the most common eye problems kids can have. Is that clearer? Yeah. Being long-sighted means it's harder to see things up close, like a book. But being short-sighted like me means it's harder to see things off in the distance. And it's short-sightedness, also known as being myopic, that lots of people have been especially worried about lately. In countries like China, around one in five people used to be short-sighted. But lately, that's jumped up. And now four out of every five kids leaving high school have the condition. And the numbers have also been rising in places like Europe and the US, with signs Australia is also starting to follow the trend. For a long time, many people have thought it's reading or too much time in front of screens that's increasing short-sightedness. But scientists now say that the problem could be not getting enough sunlight. And this is how they tested it, with chickens and tiny goggles. These little guys are being exposed to different levels of light to see how it affects their sight. And the result? Well, with three to five hours of bright light each day, fewer chickens became short-sighted. That is enough per day of this high light to prevent myopia. These guys say that light releases a chemical called dopamine in our bodies, which can stop or slow short-sightedness. Lots of people will still have to wear glasses because eye conditions can be genetic too. But the research is really good news for many school kids. Because the scientists reckon if you can spend just a few hours outside every day, then there's a much lower chance you'll become short-sighted. Researchers are even testing out some new ways to bring more light into kids' lives. So in places like China, they're trialling these glass classrooms that let in more light all day. Spending more time outside in bright light won't mean everyone will always see clearly, but it could mean a sharper world for many. <laughs>